We all know rotting garbage is stinky, and it's even worse when it gets wet. So you can bet the stink is sickening when it rains on a 100-foot-tall mound of rotting garbage. Of course, that happens a lot at landfills here in southeast Louisiana. When it rains at any landfill, water seeps down through the grass and earth, through the garbage heap, and collects on the bottom. So do liquids that ooze out of the garbage when it decomposes. All that liquid is called leachate. As the garbage decomposes, it emits gases like methane and CO2. A layer of gas forms on top of the leachate. Landfills have a system to collect both the leachate and the gas so they don't contaminate the environment. Pumps send the leachate to retention ponds, where it's treated and stored. There are also vertical gas wells running down through the landfill. They use vacuums to collect the gas. Different pumps inside those wells send the gas up and out to a gas plant, where it can be processed and sold as usable natural gas. Now, if these pumps are working properly, there should be only one foot of leachate under that 100-foot mound of garbage. The vacuums that suck the gas into the wells sit right above that normal leachate level. But if the pumps are not working like they weren't at Jefferson Parish landfill for years, the mound of garbage becomes flooded with leachate. That flood of leachate can block the vacuums from sucking the gas into the wells, and now that layer of toxic, smelly methane and hydrogen sulfide isn't being collected anymore. Instead, it rises up through the landfill and escapes into the air.